What is up guys, Levi Peterson here back at it with another video. It is the night, sorry for the lighting, it is the night after Reefapalooza. Um, actually, it's the night, okay, I don't want to explain it. Um, Reefapalooza was earlier today. We came home, it was about a three and a half hour, well maybe two and a half hour drive. Um, I picked up quite a few things actually, not as much as I had planned, but I picked up some pretty cool things and I'm really excited. Um, I got actually a lot of coral for... 10 gallon which was kind of my original plan um i was not planning on getting this guy yes i got a nitro trigger um really excited to see that um that's kind of that is going to finalize this tank i don't plan on putting anything else in here and i'm really going to actually have to watch the nitrates and ammonia level in this tank to make sure they're still stabilized um i'll probably have to run a water change at some point this week um uh, usually i keep my night I keep, I've been keeping my nitrates and everything. They've actually been really well, and I haven't been able to. I haven't actually had to do many water changes, even though I still do them anyways. Um, so I just want to keep up with my tank and everything. Lots of good coral and algae growth in this tank. See, we're starting to grow on the glass. So I got to clean off the front constantly, and as you can tell, the coral and algae is taking over the sand. So I'll probably end up having to get more snails for this eventually, um, because I don't want it to go crazy in here. Let's see. Other than that. Um, yeah, I got the Ninja Trigger, so you just saw that, and then I got the a Gorgonian that I'm going to try in the 10 gallon. I'll get you a close up. It's a big red Gorgonian. That guy's going to go somewhere in here. I'm still exactly trying to figure out where to place him because he really doesn't need that much light. Um, what else did I get? I got a couple zoanthids from Gingerbread Tropical Corals, um, a red starfish that I'm going to put in here, and yes, it is reef safe. I am still going to monitor it, even though they said it was reef safe. So we're going to see how it does and everything. I got some branching GSP, which is green star polyps. Um, a nice ultra-colored rock flower anemone. Real excited to see how that looks in here. Yeah, I got something else. Where is it? And then I got some clove polyps. So real excited. Um, I've been wanting clove polyps for a while. Um, they're closely related to uh, um, green star polyps and... Uh, pipe organ corals, which I am adding some pipe organ corals to this eventually um, But other than that, yeah, I'm real excited. We're gonna go ahead and start adding this stuff to the tank um, Next fish is actually gonna come here in, in here Monday. It's currently Saturday I got a watchman goby and a pistol shrimp pair, so real excited to see how that does um, And then whenever that kind of gets situated and everything settles down again I will get a mandarin fish or some type of dragon net because I got really good copepod population. Thanks to reef nutrition so big shout out to them they have the best of the best products man this lighting is bad in here i'm really sorry about that um other than that we're going to start acclimating this coral and we're going to get it in the tank and i will video me starting to place it and everything and we'll video the release of the trigger all right guys we have the trigger fish i wanted to get the trigger fish in before the corals because the corals are you can be a little more lenient with leaving them in the bag longer so i'm gonna get this trigger fish in and get her in the tank and she's Sister's gonna come over and get the release in a second. Once we get it all netted up and everything, this guy was drip acclimated and everything. He's all ready to go into his new home. Come on here. There he's in the tank now, and here is the release. Beautiful trigger fish, and he's gonna probably go hide for a little bit. He's gonna venture out every now and then. Here, right, look at that beautiful fish. Pardon the algae on the tank right now. He's hanging out in the back, so it's a little bit dark, and you can't really see him very well, but he's a beautiful trigger. Um, definitely going to have some more videos on him in the future as he comes out a little more, and he's kind of perking out a little bit. Those colors will definitely perk up a little bit as he gets used to the tank. Look at that beautiful, beautiful trigger. I love trigger fish. Really glad I got to get a trigger fish in this tank. Sorry, you can't really see him very well. But look at that guy. I need to clean off the algae on the front. So now... We are going to start acclimating these corals. I'm going to temperature acclimate them for a little bit, dip them, and then we'll get them in this tank, which will probably take a little bit under 20 minutes. Um, starfish, I'm just going to kind of let it sit in the tank for a little bit. I lowered the water level a little bit, so I can kind of send them in there and temperature acclimate them a little bit. And I'm definitely going to have to drip this guy to make sure he's all good to go because they are very, very sensitive to water parameter changes and everything. This is just a red sea star. Then we got the Gorgonian. This actually has a mixed uh, yellow Gorgonian on it. Ugh, good gorgonian on it so i'm gonna set the gorgonian probably towards the back where that macro is because i'm not they can kind of stay out of the light a little better um because they're non-photosynthetic and then i got some branching green star polyps some zoas 
that are already open up. Those are some Bam Bam Zoas. I'll probably set near that mushroom right on top of that macro or somewhere else where I can find a spot for it because I'm going to kind of try to grow the Zoas out on top here. And then we have the clove polyps right here. And then ultra colored rock flower that I'm going to set in here, probably near the top of that, right there in that area. Um, it will probably move to where it likes to be, so I'm going to have to watch it so it doesn't sting the corals. But I'm going to try to get it to attach there, and hopefully it'll look very cool in that spot. Other than that, this tank is getting close to being fully stocked with corals. Um, I got a Duncan down below, and I'm still trying to move some things around to figure out where exactly it's going to stay full time. Um, so corals are starting to grow a little bit. These zoanthids are starting to spread way more. I've seen a couple new heads pop up and this new SPS is doing really well. That's a thick stemmed bird's nest or whatever you like to call it. They are really nice and it's doing very, very well for me so far. Um, I must have got a little food there. I am watching the calcium levels in this tank because it is a little bigger piece of SPS. So I'm watching it closely. Um, other than that, I'm going to start acclimating these corals, and we will video them getting put into the tank. Okay guys, now I actually didn't get footage of me placing the corals, but I will show you exactly where I placed every single one of the corals. Um, obviously you can tell not everything's opened up right now. Um, the light was turned off for a little while. But, <clears throat> I will show you what I got today fully all in this tank. Um, the green star polyps haven't opened up yet, but those are really, really beautiful. Um, there's a pom pom crab there. Sorry for the let's focus here. We got branching green star polyps, which you don't see those too often. The branching kind anymore. Um, right there's a pom pom crab. I didn't. I did not get him today. He was just. He's just been in here. It doesn't come out very often. I have three of those guys in here. And let's see. I got an ultra colored rock flower. Really, really beautiful specimen right there. Very cheap price. And there's of course my blue chromis that I've had in here ever since the very beginning. So, these are probably my favorites right here. Bam Bam Zoas. Pick these up from Gingerbread Tropical Corals. And, er, Gingerbread Tropical Fishing Corals. Very nice guys. Nick and Chris, definitely if you get the chance to meet them, they are really cool people. Um, what else did I pick up? I got clove polyps over here. They haven't completely came out yet because obviously they sometimes different corals take a little bit longer to acclimate to tanks. Um, we got the sea star right there that I got today. Kind of tucked in right there. Um, I do have to watch them now. Um, I have heard some reports of them picking on coral, so we have to stay close attention to this guy. Um, then my back, I got my beautiful Gorg Gorgonian. Now these guys are actually like sea fans and stuff. This is already looking beautiful, beautiful in my tank. And these is this um, specimen right here is actually one of the more hardier kinds. Um, and especially with Reef Nutrition's products, we are going to be able to keep this guy alive in this tank no problem at all and i just love how those little polyps stick out that is just so beautiful um other than that i think cover most of the bam bams ultra cold rock flower green star polyps clove polyps and then the gorgonian um like i said the next thing i'm going to add to this tank is a watchman shrimp or oh i get that mixed up every time watchman goby and a pistol shrimp um, so that'd be an interesting add to this tank. I do have some coral in the back I'm growing out. I got a blue ribbon, uh, sea fan back there, and there's another piece of chalice on a frag, and then there's some more zoas kind of spread out in the back there that I'm trying to grow out before I add them up front to display them. Um, but I am just in love with these Bam Bams. That is my favorite color. Orange is my favorite color. Picked up two orange types things today. That'll probably be all the orange I add to this tank. I'm going to be honest with you, when I first got this, it almost looked fake when I set it in a tank because none of the polyps were open. All the polyps are open, and they are doing good. It looks so beautiful. Um, and I am going to use some Oyster Feast and some Phyto Feast to feed these guys. So I just fed the Oyster Feast. You can see the little particles kind of floating around. That's actually like oyster eggs and ovarian tissue. Um, and it's really good for uh, corals, sea fans, and many other invertebrates. Uh, I actually did a video on this a couple days ago. I will have this linked at the end if you want to go check it out. Uh, really good stuff. Um, and then I got the Phyto Feast here too. This stuff is really good for just about any coral also and filter feeders. Um, uh, we got a feather duster in here that comes out every now and then. He loves this stuff and I'm not even joking. And before I forget, a lot of people are going to end up asking, and this happens every time I end up buying coral, what is the fa my most favorite coral 
Um, right now, um, after the day, I'm definitely going to say the Bam Bam Zoas. Now, these are really cool, vibrant Zoas. Um, I got these from Gingerbread, Tropical Fish, and Coral. And Nick and Barry, like I said, they are really nice guys. And they have a good coral selection and relatively good prices. Um, my second favorite is definitely the Gorgonian. Um, these guys are just really, really cool. And I'm really excited to see these in my tank and everything. Um, I've actually been feeding this... Phyto Feast and Oyster Feast, like I said earlier in the video. The Gorgonian is already eating, ate quite a bit of this stuff. Um, and like I said, sorry for my speech. I'm really, really tired. And I actually need to get some sleep tonight. First nest uh, is doing really, really good, actually. Um, so far, so I need to probably start dosing my tank because it's starting to close up a little bit. I'm not sure if it's actually eating or not because I did spray some Phyto Feast in there and stuff like that. So I'll probably put one more little squirt in there for the Gorgonian and we'll call it a night. Um, flip the camera around here, right up here, we got the trigger fish, and he's doing really good. Pardon the glass, I really actually need to clean off the glass. The algae on the inside is getting pretty bad, because um, I got a fluval sky on there. It grows algae like crazy, but it will not grow corals. Uh, you could probably get away with growing a couple softies. I got some palethos in there, they're doing real good. Um, and then there's my lovely butterfly fish. That is probably one of my favorite fish in the tank, for sure. Well guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. As you can tell, all my lights are turned off. It is probably around, it's 11.30 just about. Um, stayed up pretty late getting everything organized and everything placed where, where I wanted it to be. Everything's set up and doing really good so far. Um, like I said, favorite coral, definitely the Bam Bam and the Gorgonians, um, or the Gorgonian. Really excited to see that grow and everything. Um, and I love watching it eat because it's just so cool how it just all closes in on it and everything. Um, other than that, it's going to be it. Don't forget to be the fish and keep reefing. We'll see you on the next one.